yesterday guys i just found this big baby dirty boots which is re really freaking awesome let's see so guys this is the boot which i have found from you know amazon i'll just put the link in the description if you want right so this really makes a cool impact in your photos yesterday guys i really clicked some cool photos using this boots so let's see how photos are really looking with the help of these boots hey guys what's up everybody it's again ashish from ashish creations and welcome back guys as you already guys know that i'm teaching you you know donny maffle inspired foot so it is very important for you guys to you know maintain the details which he uses in his photos that would be the leather jacket or the black t-shirts or black hoodie or maybe the black boots which i have shown you right so guys this is our 18th photo manipulation in this way i'm gonna show you how to edit your photo like you know tony my food inspired series which we are going through so if you don't know then guys outfit really plays a very vital role in during the photo shoot right so it is very important to you know wear good black and kind of you know amazing and cool outfits during the photo shoot i also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram this is step ashley creation so let's get back into the magical world of photoshop So finally, uh, finally, guys, click some creative pose uh, photo in good pose. Now, first of all, we're gonna crop the photo for our Instagram. That is 8 is to 10 ratio. Select the ratio, and you can increase the size of the whole image by stretching it all the way from any of the corner. Right now, just hit OK. All right. Now let's select the photo with the help of quick selection tool, or else you can also use the pen tool to select very precisely. I have really, you know, selected this already. You know, selected the photo, and it took a little long time right so i'm just showing you how to quickly you know select now if you want to select the hairs just select the select and mask option and just roll on the edges of the models hair and just hit ok right now just right click on it and select layer by copy to make a duplication of the selection now as you can see i have already made a selection which is over here right it really takes a lot of time all right now let's stretch the image right as you can see here it is not the wall is actually a little bit small so we're gonna just select the wall with the help of square marquee tool and just press ctrl t to extend or just extend a bit right now again we're gonna just make a right click on and select layer copy option now press ctrl t and flip it horizontal and we're gonna just place this so as you can see we have increased the size of the image right and now the next thing we're gonna do is again let's just crop the photo all right now add the background which is a very important thing which in our process so let's go to the file click on open and add this background you can just download this background from the link in the description now go to the edit and select the free time so and if we're gonna flip it horizontal way and we're gonna place this background in such a way that it should look you know on that corner any of the corner of the photo and in short the models image should look amazing right so as you can see you can just play with that by your choice right you can totally transform it and make whatever kind of you know, uh, perspective you want of that background you can just make it as you can see my the model image is actually looking very oversaturated right now i'm gonna just create a new layer create a clip uh, fill it with the black color and change the blending mode to overlay just right click on it and create a clipping mode as you can see it is really making a depthness on the photo right so i'm gonna use the eraser tool right instead of rust i'm gonna use the eraser tool and erase the rest of the image rather th than the subjects right so just erase it from the sub subject layer and just keep everything as it is because i just want to create a depthness on that particular wall So finally as you can see the difference before and after right guys now the next thing we're gonna do is merge all the layers go to the filter and we're gonna just add one more layer and select the curve and we're gonna adjust the you know, brightness and contrast so you can select the levels and click on the clipping mask and select the auto so it will automatically fix the tone right 
and now we will just move the bit of you know from the middle towards the right portion the slider in order to create a dark effect now just hit ok and right now you can see the difference now we can just merge both the layers now just go to the filter select the camera filter and from there we can adjust the uh, overexposed image which is as you as you can see the image is actually looking so much overexposed so we're gonna reduce the highlights from the photo and we're gonna reduce some whiteness from the photo a bit and we're gonna reduce some of the shadows from the photo and decrease some blackness and increase some of the contrast from the photo to get the amazing effect on the face right now as you can see we have fixed the skin tone and it is looking it was looking actually you know very much overexposed so we have fixed this skin tone and just hit ok you can see that it is literally looking so perfect right so the next thing we are gonna do is adding a color grading process right so first of all let's crop the photo alright now just merge both the layers the model layer as well as the background right now just go to the filter select the camera filter again and here we're gonna do the process that is of color grading which is very very important in our process right now we make the temperature kind of you know uh, some summer like so just make it to plus three you can use the saturation of this blue and just reduce reduce it to zero add a little bit of contrast to the photograph right and let's add a vignette on the photo so just make the amount of vignette to around minus 21 midpoint and roughness and also the feather this is totally up to you guys right as you can see this one would look more pretty perfect right and now we're gonna add to reduce some more highlights from the photo now as you can see on the face it is looking kind of you know oversaturated or exposed so we're gonna just reduce a bit of you know whiteness from the photo also you can just play with the luminescence curve of the face to reduce the brightness on the face because it was actually looking so bright and up so we have to fix the skin tone now go to the calibration and just move the primary color of the blue to around minus 48 right now again go to the hue and saturation make the orange to plus 15 in order to create a perfect gold skin tones this is very important thing which you really have to understand so this is totally up to you guys you can just play with the saturation and luminescence and also the skin skin tone in order to fix the perfect skin tone right now we're gonna just reduce a blackness from the photo a bit and you can totally play with the slider and whatever it is more suitable for your photo you can just do it add a bit of clarity if it is needed increase the vibrance and decrease the saturation of the photo this will create an amazing look on the photo now let's go to the split toning and here we're gonna add a bit of before doing that we're gonna add a bit of saturation to the photo of the blue primary color in order to enhance the photo right increase some blue primary a red color of the saturation also the green primary color saturation and finally we're gonna add a shadow that should be of around 200 around right 205 or 200 around it will just keep it and we're gonna just add a saturation of this to around 20 would be pretty perfect i guess as you can see this one is adding a kind of you know very perfect vibe like Tony Mafford it is really important and we're gonna distill more play with the skin tone and we will make it perfect until it get a perfect kind of skin tone right now we're gonna reduce the saturation of this magenta purple and magenta color as you can see this one is actually looking awkward right so we're gonna fix this and finally as you can see this one is properly and perfectly looking kind of amazing just like Tony Mafford photo right and we're gonna still reduce some of the exposure from the photo just a bit would be pretty perfect right so just make it to minus 20 and here you are done all right so this seems to be kind of perfect right this is guys totally up to you you have to you know adjust the contrast highlights whatever you want to do you can totally do it according to me you have to fix the skin tone that is very very important in the process of editing it should look no it should not look unreal that is you know very key point of our editing the skin tone should look very perfect so you have to maintain that originalism of the photograph all right so i think we have fixed the skin tone and the color grading process is almost completed i guess right 
now just hit ok and finally we gonna do the process of you know doing the dodging and burning which is a very important process or which is very important part of our editing series right which mostly the Tony method uses in his photo now just hit ok and you are almost done as you can see it is literally looking so perfect now we gonna just name it as a dodge layer and we gonna do the dodging and burning right now again change the blending mode to screen just right click on it and select the blending options just move the slider from left to right by pressing the alt key from the keyboard and just move the again duplicate from the original layer and we can just name it as a burn change the blending mode to multiply just again select the blending options and here we can move the slider from right right to left and press the alt key from the keyboard as you can see this one is really making a cool impact on the photograph which is a making a gradient type of effect on the photo right so this is how you can you know create an amazing dodging and burning on the face all right so as you can see the difference now we're gonna go to the add a uh, group and just add a uh, layer mask and just go to the apply image and just apply the image and as you can see it is really looking so perfect right so here's the before and here is the after so amazing it is looking guys the dodging and burning process we have created a very perfectly now now just merge both the layers right we're gonna just merge both the layers just right click on it and select merge layers and here we're gonna select the mixture brush tool and we're gonna fix or smoothen the skin with the help of mixture brush tool make everything to you know wet to 30 everything should be below the 30 percent that you have to very really keep in mind right so just do the smudging on the face a bit just like this so you have to you know smudge in the direction where you want to create the jaw lines and the dodging effect where the burning effect it is made so you have to you know do that process this is totally up to you guys So finally we have done our process now we're gonna fix again the screen tone so press ctrl u from the keyboard and make a red to around plus one plus one would be pretty perfect i guess so in order to create a gold effect or plus two now as you can see we have perfectly made a perfect goldish type of skin tone which is literally looking so perfect guys right now here the next thing we're gonna do is adding a kind of texture to the photo right before doing that we're gonna still make some more correction on the face right we're gonna again just reduce some of the highlights and the whiteness from the photo just a bit would be pretty perfect right i guess and also some of the highlights of just a bit would be pretty fine right so this will make an amazing look on the photo right and finally go to the fx, FX tab and add a grain that is very very important if you will notice then tony method uses a grain in his photo this will create a skin type of inner texture on the photo which will make your photo to look more creative and amazing so you can just totally do it by yourself make the amount of the grain to around 20 percent 25 percent or we'll just make it to around 50 10 to 15 percent size should be around 9 and the roughness to roughness should be around 48 right now just hit ok and finally we have done our process of color grading now here finally the next thing we gonna do is add some particles that is a falling snow particles right so you can just download this you know link uh, photo from the link in the description i'll just put that so you can just download it for free i'll just rotate it to around 90 degree and just change the blending mode to screen and this is overlay is literally looking so perfect and amazing right now just select the eraser tool and we can just remove it from the face region also from the big from the body of the model and we can just uh, remove the bigger particles which are there so that it may not look more unreal so we're gonna just remove it just a bit would be pretty perfect because this will actually create an amazing effect to the photo right so it is very important to add this you know falling snow particles in the photograph so finally we here here we have done our process of adding this right so this one seems to be pretty perfect i guess right now just more about the layers again let's just crop the photo once again 
select the crop tool and just hit and enter so finally we gonna just add a matte effect to the photo so select the coat on go and just add a little bit of matteness so we will just move the slider from the bottom to top just a bit would be pretty perfect and click one point over here so this will create a matte kind of look on the photo as you can see this one is looking so perfect now just merge both the layers we can again go to the selective color select the neutral and make it to plus three would be pretty perfect or plus two this will create an amazing skin tone or amazing color tone just like Tony Mapu so finally merge photo and here we have completed our process of editing just like Tony Mapu so you can see the before and after guys this one is literally looking so perfect like Tony Mapu so guys I hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make cool videos and presets like this for you guys for free and if you are new to our channel then kindly do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also guys don't forget to visit our website that is www.ashfieldcreations.com from there you can just download all the presets mobile lightroom preset large camera preset and many more cool collection of presets and every a to z every kind of you know, stuff just for free and also guys don't forget to visit our second website that we're gonna launch soon that is filterpreset.com also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just type ashley creation so guys thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial